All right. Hey, hey, everybody. I'm Jeff Pollard at solarpoweredpeople.org. Jeff Pollard 11 on Instagram. I'm actually kind of excited today because I've been doing interviews, but like on the field, in, in, in the world. And, you know, the pandemic is kind of settled and all that. But I've missed doing like the Zoom stuff. <laughs> I missed it because the Zoom allows me to talk to people that are far away. And as we're going to meet, here's Emma. Hello, Emma. <laughs> Hello. And Emma has a simple, she's a simple environment, environmentalist, but I believe it's, it's not that simple saving the world, right? <laughs> Having a clear. <laughs> so please, could you tell us a little bit about you? Thank you for coming. Yeah, of And uh, just tell me what your world's about. Tell me about your page, your channel, your, your life. Sure. Thanks for having me. So my name is Emma. Um, I started off with a blog and then I got really passionate about making videos. So I got on the YouTube train and love making YouTube videos. But ever since the beginning, my goal was to make zero waste free, easy and fun, essentially accessible and to prove to people that you don't have to go out and buy a bunch of swaps and you don't have to drive an EV just to be eco-friendly. Um, and I guess my story really started when I moved out of my small hometown in Ohio I didn't really get to see the environmental impact when I was living in the Midwest. Um, so I moved to Texas and there was no recycling when I moved there. So that was my first real look at the physical waste we were creating and not reusing. And then I moved to Okinawa, Japan, which is an island in the middle of the Pacific. And I got to see firsthand the effects of plastic pollution on the ocean and rising ocean levels. So that really kickstarted my desire to want to do something about it. Okay. So... So far, you sound a little boring, not traveling the world and stuff. Uh, <laughs> I mean, awesome. Um, yeah. Okay, so uh, where what, what is it you try to like tell people? What, what, what's like the, is there, what, what would people expect when they kind of search for you? Is it uh, one particular thing? I know you just kind of said it, but is there like popularity, like topics you like to hint on more, anything of that sort or? I really focus on, Everything across the zero waste world. I do have like a, a big series going on YouTube called Free Ways to Live Zero Waste. Right. Simple things from like turning off the lights and turning off the water. Um, but something I feel like I focus on more than other zero waste YouTubers is like actual issues like the, the drought we're having in the Southwest and why golf courses are terrible for the environment. Like kind of obscure things that most people don't talk about in the zero waste world. Yeah, I got you. Yeah, no, uh, I kind of like to, I mean, my focus is like, I like to talk about composting, try to get into like gardening aspects. If I have, if I meet like, if there's a product, like I just found out that there's these uh, sheets. I don't know if you've heard of them and don't ask me what the name is. I'll forward that info in the bio, but there's like these sheets that are supposed to replace detergent, liquid detergent. Oh, yeah. And so that, that's like fun, you know, it's like, okay, you no longer need these plastic containers. You can have sheets that come in like a cardboard box thing and you can throw away that box or recycle it and and you know I was just like okay I'm, I'm going to test it out soon <laughs> I'm going to try that and then hopefully forward it to people and hopefully they like the product because if you're anything like me it's like okay I like gardening I like composting I like you know all the therapy that goes with that I hate trash I'm over it I'm just over buying like a lollipop and then there's the stick and the wrapper right and you're just going all that for the sugar liquid that dried up and made a lollipop. <laughs> so I'm just like, Ugh. but anyway, uh, is there any, any topics or themes that you're on currently that you would want to divulge? Or is there any like real quick uh, wisdom that you have, like anything you learned uh, this week recently that you're like, Oh, I want to share this. Give us a taste. <laughs> okay. Let's see. What have I learned recently? Um, I don't know if I <laughs> learned anything that like really stuck in my head apparently, sure. but I have had my first encounter with climate deniers on TikTok. Ooh, okay. So it actually, um, one of my climate friends on TikTok, her, her handle is Iguana. Um, we kind of had a, a discourse between ourselves about how like the climate deniers obviously suck, but they're boosting the engagement as well as they're actually helping me learn more because I didn't know much about you know, climate cycles, like the ice ages and all that stuff. Um, and so in order to disprove them and prove climate change correct, I had to do a lot of research on my own. 
So I guess that, you know, it ended up coming in handy. Yeah, no, definitely. I think yeah. what interests me, well, one, one thing I like to tell people is like, I, I, I love debate. And so I love chatting with people and I, I love learning about the oppositions because <laughs> they're, they're a human being that has their own life and their own viewpoint and something raised them to think a certain way. And you're just like, okay, I really want to know what, how this came to be. And so that's really interesting. Mm -hmm. And uh, it's just like, you know, you, it's funny how you kind of have to play that devil's advocate where you're just like, oh man, like you're helping me in a way, even though we don't have this, let's boost it. You just kind of have to play that game, but that's, that's funny. Okay. I like that a lot. (laughs) (laughs) The climate deniers. Yeah. Was there uh, any one particular person that just like was relentless or did you sway anybody? Or... I don't think I swayed anyone. At least no. they didn't make it obvious. There was one person. We were going back and forth for a long time on one of my videos. Um, they just simply asked for some proof on climate change. And I linked like a bunch of stuff from NASA and the worldwide fund and stuff. And still wasn't good enough for them, but that's okay. <laughs> still, still wasn't like... <laughs> oh no, I don't I don't like all this, this, this data, this research. <laughs> I don't know. No, I I think that's what's kind of like important about these pages and what you and I are kind of doing is it's like I, I don't want to speak for you, but for me it's like I don't I'm not trying to change your world. I'm not trying to change your your whole life. I'm not trying to rock your boat. It's just like I kind of just use the examples of like, do you want a bunch of trash in your bedroom? Would you put your mouth to an exhaust pipe? Would you inhale? Would you do all that? Would you, you know what I mean? And it's like, if the answers are no, then it's like, well, yeah. And then why would you want that like in your backyard? Why would you want that in your neighborhood? Uh, I went on a hike recently. I'm in California. And, uh, you know, I, I kind of carry an empty backpack that holds, you know, just my water. And then I just can't help but then pick up the trash on the way. And what kills me the most is sometimes you have to pass a few of them or something, but it's like, you know, I make a little video and it's like 12 bottles, you know, tons of wrappers, stuff like that. And you're just kind of going, okay, whatever your belief is, like, we can agree that this is gross, right? This part's gross. (laughs) So let's try to do stuff about it. And that's what brings me back to like the sheets and all that stuff. I don't know, but... Are, uh, are there anything like that your pal or like is I like to talk about like wisdom and just like little things and like one of the things I like to ask is like is it just like a simple thing you can get people to get started on if like they have no clue where to start is there something you recommend um I think just start with what you can do so things like bringing your own utensils from home like you don't have to buy brand new utensils remembering to turn the lights off. It might be minuscule, but it actually makes a big difference. And that's kind of a big part of my channel too, is advocating for individual action. Like, yeah, you know, me walking to the grocery store instead of taking my car is not going to save the world, but it does make a big difference. Um, no positive action is bad. Yeah, no, I, I agree. I, I try to tell people, you know, going back to the gardening thing, it's like, yeah, sure, I'm going to grow my own food, but you don't understand, like, all the therapy that comes with it. Mm-hmm. You know, you're walking to the grocery store, and people are thinking, oh, the work, but then it's like, well, no, I I, I got my steps in, yeah, or I got fresh air, or, you know what I mean? Like, you got to think of all these, like, little things that we're kind of giving away when we quickly go into the car. You know, I, I still kind of remember this one story of my friend in college, and she had her headphones on, and she's walking to class. I'm like, hey, I tried to say hi to you once, but you couldn't enjoy the atmosphere and the world you had your your music on and and I'm trying to like just kind of relate that like if you don't have the headphones on you can hear the noises enjoy what there what's there and stuff but I don't know terrible example (laughs) (laughs) no I get it but uh uh, is your world where you're at um is there kind of like a specific city thing happening uh or that you're noticing more like you know obviously the troubles in japan are different than texas and different than ohio are there anything like that you're just that's sticking out where you are currently or can you tell us also maybe the special things that you saw in each country that was sure. kind of like... yeah so i'm in las vegas now when i was in texas the big thing was that they didn't recycle um 
which was devastating. Um, Okinawa, Japan in general is just very plastic obsessed, um, mm. like plastic wrapping individual bananas type yeah. of thing. Um, so they actually did get a little bit better as I was leaving Japan. Um, hold on just a second. No worries. Dog's eating something. <laughs> so um, they put their first ban on plastic bags. It wasn't a full ban. It was... Oh. <laughs> This is fine, by the way. Okay. <laughs> Real quick, before I, I I interviewed a gal who's like dog literally jumped on her, so this okay. is perfect. <laughs> yeah, all the interaction. Um, so it wasn't a full ban on bags. It was yeah. like charging five yen, which is the equivalent to five cents. So, yeah. but I did notice instead of instantly bagging stuff, they would ask if I wanted a bag. So it was a step in the right direction. I do, I do appreciate and that. Here in Las Vegas is definitely. The air pollution and like the physical pollution. I pick up trash, my dog and I walk the same four or five routes um, twice a day and always picking up trash. And then Las Vegas is a valley, so there's really nowhere for the air pollution to go. It is so bad here. It's just a valley full of two million cars. So. No, I uh, think was it the Vegas airport Somewhere when I traveled there, there was like the 1960s Vegas uh, city shot, uh, city lights and all that. So you see just this little, you know, thing. And then it's like 2007 or whatever. And it's like just grown exponentially population and all that. And so it's just, yeah, that's a, those are a lot of, I mean, it's Vegas. So they, they ride on <laughs> light pollution and, and cars and <laughs> Is, are they, would you say Vegas is uh, trying? Would you say you're the special? No? Okay. I really don't think so. Um, I When I first got here, mm. I noticed there were no trash cans in my neighborhood, no public trash cans. So, of course, that means people litter. And then also, like, dog waste bags everywhere in our little neighborhood. So I emailed my city council, and I'm like, hey, it'd be great to get a public trash can. And they're like, that's not our responsibility. I'm mm. like, what responsibility is it then if it's not the city's? So there's really not many public services for things like recycling and litter and public transportation is almost non-existent here. It's it's pretty bad. Oof. Yeah. And I'm what I'm in LA, so I'm I'm really like your neighbor. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and it's funny because I tell people that it's like I love Vegas, like the outskirts of the strip. Mm -hmm. oh my god like the the hiking's fine you've got great restaurants outside of the strip i mean obviously on the strip too but like it's like kind of like being in disneyland and then like what's around in anaheim or whatever and you're just yeah. like no vegas has got some serious charm but yeah it's it's kind of a shame that they don't <laughs> they don't think that way yeah <laughs> like, oh, <bummer. laughs> but anyway okay uh I believe that's like pretty cool. I, I like that. I like to make these videos short and sweet and fun. And thank you so much, Emma. Yeah, thanks for having me. This was great. <laughs> all your uh, all your info will be in the box. Um, please check her out and all that. I appreciate it. I like just talking, meeting up with people. I appreciate your wisdom. I appreciate your anecdotes. Thank you so much. <laughs> yeah, thank you. This was a lot of fun. <laughs> all right. Thank you.